Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today and I want to talk about how this journey, the spiritual journey that we're on, creates events in our lives to make us unconditional because we have, unbeknownst to us at times, chosen to be on a special mission to really help this world with the purity of unconditional love and becoming unconditional is not easy it's not just sitting there in meditation and feeling love for everyone and everything around you it's i think it's a roomy quote um i don't know if i'll be I'll probably be paraphrasing it, but it's something along the lines of break your heart until it opens. And a lot of people that go through heartbreak, you know, they, they have a choice. They can go one of two ways. They can either become bitter, resentful, close themselves off and be like, you know, I'll forget this. I'm never going to let anyone love me or hurt me or whatever. Give them the opportunity to, to make me vulnerable and hurt me ever again or you can allow your heart to break but then become stronger through it and it's up to you what path you choose but I know that with the majority of people who have found my channel and who feel drawn that this journey is also what they are experiencing right now Heartbreak has been an active part of your life, not just romantically. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about childhood wounding, feeling alone and rejected and yeah, like nobody really gets you, understands you, cares for you, but that's all an illusion and you need to put that aside. You need to look at the bigger picture. Elevate yourself from your situation and look at what is really going on. You are here to bring unconditional love. It's easy to be unconditional when things are going smoothly. You know? If everything goes your way and you have no problems at all, yeah, life is great. It's a party. It's awesome. There's no challenge. Well, of course I love everybody when there's no challenge. <laughs> but when things become really dark and painful, that's when you are faced with a choice. Are you going to become unconditional or are you going to become closed off and bitter and no longer accessible, no longer allowing yourself to be loved and no longer giving love. Becoming unconditional is not an easy process. It's, it's like a caterpillar going through transformation. Yes, it's hard to imagine what that must feel like to go into a cocoon and if you've ever seen a cocoon, it looks like it's dead. You know, you, you probably think, what could possibly come from this? A cocoon, It's it looks dead. I remember when I was younger, I was playing up in the, in the loft and I, I saw a cocoon dangling from the window and I thought, wow, it's probably dead, right? That <laughs> There can't be anything in that. But then one day, it starts to tear open and a butterfly emerges. But the the process of becoming that butterfly must be awfully painful. It's like going through a little death to be reborn into something much more beautiful than you were before. And that's the same thing with becoming unconditional. You break your heart until it opens. You allow yourself to experience vulnerability 
and whatever will be, will be. That's being unconditional. You don't go into wanting to become unconditional with, oh, but if they don't love me back, then forget about it. No, it's not that. It's loving despite whatever happens. If they love you back, awesome. If they don't love you back, great. Unconditional is unconditional. There is no attachment. And it can feel like dying, but living at the same time. It's living without regret. It's living without fear. It's like being a moth that gets itself burnt because the flame is just too beautiful. So, yeah. I just wanted to share that I understand that it's not easy on this journey and if you ever feel alone you're not alone today i'm feeling all over the place and i feel a lot of pain from other people not just myself and that kind of goes with with a job doesn't it oh did i ever choose to become an empath good lord it's hard work but you know what at the same time, it's rewarding because it's so rewarding to receive your amazing stories of growth and transformation. To know that I've helped people who were on the brink of, of just walking away and giving up on their dreams. And for that, I am grateful. But just know that we are all on this journey to break our hearts until it opens. And eventually when it opens, it will stay open. And do you know what the best thing is about breaking your heart until it opens? Is you live without regret. <laughs> because in the past, I've regretted a lot of things by not acting on things or being too afraid to speak my truth, being afraid to be rejected. But as soon as you can put that aside and think, Do you know what? I would rather experience anything but the feeling of what if. And as soon as you can do that, it's, it's liberating. So, I just wanted to share that with you today. I know I sound awfully sad. It's a collective feeling of heaviness, but I feel that with the change and shift in energies that this will, this will transform soon. So I think right now I am in my cocoon. <laughs> and even though I may be dying a little bit, I'm also living, and I'll be bursting out soon. And so will you, whoever's listening to this, whoever feels lonely and sad and tired and just drained from being a spiritual person and being on this journey to enlightenment and to true unconditional love, you will be in a place where true love finally lives and will be unconditional and will not let you down. And also what I wanted to tell you is that in order to write a new chapter, we must stop rewriting, well, no, we must stop reading the old chapter. That was then, this is now. If we can step into our new chapters without looking back, we will be able to make the most of our new chapters. We will no longer 
be bound by old beliefs, by old hurts, by old anxieties. We will be embracing the new. And I've seen it happen to me. I've seen it happen to other people that, you know, that are around me, whether you're a client or a friend or a family member. I've seen so much transformation around that it's undeniable. There's definitely changes and shifts happening. And it's amazing to see. But with every change comes a little bit of, of death, in a sense, because you are leaving your old self, you are shedding your old skin. And that hurts a little bit, you know? But it's okay, because you come out the other side, you are even more beautiful even more loving and one step closer to being unconditional. I hope this video has helped whoever was drawn to watch it and if you would like to connect with me all my details are in the description. I thank you all so very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.